What is the foreclosure effect on children? Looking for a short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thank you for joining in. Hey, today we're going to talk about the chilling effects that foreclosures have on children. Recently, Julia Isaacs of the Brookings Institute for the organization First Focus authorized a report titled The Ongoing Impact of Foreclosures on Children. Sad report. Uh, in the report, Ms. Isaacs quantified the number of children that have been impacted. It's 2.3 million children have already lost their homes to foreclosure and with another 3 million additional children that, had, that are high risk. That's five, almost five and a half million children displaced. She also noted four ways foreclosure affect children negatively. Number one is families receiving foreclosure notices are much more likely to move than other families. Children who move frequently don't do as well in school. Number two, homeowners receiving a foreclosure notice are under a lot of financial and, and psychological stress. Parents under financial duress and stress sometimes engage in harsher and less supportive parenting. Hey, we've all been under pressure. We can relate. This can lead to negative behaviors on the part of children, making it harder for them to interact with their peers in school. And there's a certain amount of shame that still goes with that. So think about that. Number three, foreclosures have a negative impact on the physical as well as mental health with studies finding higher rates of non-elective visits to emergency rooms and hospitals in zip codes with the highest foreclosure rates. Think about that for a minute. And number four, children living in or near foreclosed homes may suffer the consequences of living in neighborhoods with more vacant houses, higher crime rates, lower social cohesion, and lower tax base. Now, here's a killer. The official journal of the American Academy of Pediatrics just published a report on the impact of the housing crisis on child abuse. Their conclusion, and I quote, multi-center hospital data shows an increase in pediatric admissions for physical abuse and high-risk traumatic brain injuries, TBI, during a time of declining all-cause injury rate. Abuse and high-risk TBI admission rates increased in relationship to local mortgage delinquency and foreclosure trends. Guys, think about that. Now, if you follow us enough to know, we just recently reported on the number of adults under financial stress and the effect it has on their health. To know now what it's doing to our children, that we, it's so important that we help as many homeowners as possible, help them avoid foreclosure and this financial stress. Short sales is just one of the ways we can help. Call me today if you know someone who is on, late on their payment, owes more than the home worth, or may be facing foreclosure. We can help them. It may not be a short sale. It may be one of the other eight ways to avoid foreclosure. We can't let this continue to happen to good people and their children. Now, is a short sale right for you or your family or friends? I don't know. Give me a call. Let's talk about your particular situation. For information on when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info. You'll get a free estimate or give me a call. Let's talk about your situation. The call is confidential. It's free. I'm here to help. Give me a call today. You'll sleep better tonight. And I'll look forward to seeing you. Thanks.